So I just got done seeing Deadpool and Wolverine, and I have a spoiler-free review. You can see it. It's linked down below. Uh, but this is going to be something with some spoilers in it. It is going to be my top three cameos that were not in any of the promotional material, nor were they leaked because of casting. So if all of you on the lookout for spoilers are gone, let's get started. So the first one we have to talk about is Wesley Snipes as Blade. Oh my gosh, the theater erupted. No one saw that coming. If that casting choice had been leaked, I didn't see it. And people were absolutely in awe when he walked on screen. And he was a significant character. He was in a good portion of the movie. Now, an MCU Blade project has been in works for a while with Mahershala Ali as Blade, but it seems to be in uh, pre-production hell right now, and its future is unknown, but there was something that might have been a little hint as to Blade's future in the MCU. Wesley Snipes' Blade says, there's only been one Blade, and there's only ever gonna be one Blade, and then that wasn't just a passing comment, because Deadpool then turned to the camera and, and gave us one of these. Like a, that might be a hint that he might be coming back as Blade, in the MCU, and I would love that. He crushed those movies. I love all three, even the one that Ryan Reynolds was in, which is Blade Trinity and considered the worst one. I think they are all just pure 90s and early 2000s superhero goodness, and so rewatchable and so fun. And I would love to see Wesley Snipes return as the character, because he was just so perfect, so tough, so stern, yet he has this sense of humor that is so unexpected from his performance. The next one is Channing Tatum, as Gambit. Now, this is a nod not to a previous Fox property or Marvel film. This is a nod to the fact that Channing Tatum has been attached to a Gambit solo film, or even just to play him in, a, in an ensemble film, for like 15 years. He has been trying to play Gambit for so long, and every time it seems like we're gonna finally get him as Gambit, it falls through, whether it's because he's filming something else or because the project dies in pre-production. And we finally got to see Channing Tatum as Gambit. And to be honest, his suit was awesome, his fight choreography was awesome, his powers looked awesome. The only thing that was terrible was giving him that thick Louisiana accent. I don't know if it was intentionally awful or if Channing Tatum just couldn't pull it off. I think because there were so many jokes at how awful it sounded that it was intentionally not great and it was meant to be funny. Uh, but him as Gambit actually really worked, except for the axe. And finally, this was the most unexpected cameo. When Deadpool and Wolverine first get to the void, they are greeted by a cloaked figure who reaches out an arm and we see a red and blue sleeve. And that voice is so distinct, we know it's Chris Evans, right? Even Deadpool thinks that this is Captain America, that they got Chris Evans to play Captain America. And there's a point when they're about to fight a bunch of bad guys where he, he's still covered in this cloak. All you see is a little bit of blue peeking out. And then Chris Evans says, you're not gonna like what I'm about to say. And Devil's like, he's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. Oh my gosh, he's gonna say it. And we think he's gonna say Avengers Assemble. But then he says, flame on. And then the cloak burns away and reveals a fantastic four suit. And we realize, oh my gosh, this is not Chris Evans as Captain America. This is Chris Evans as the Human Torch. And it was the biggest surprise of the entire movie. I lost my mind. I was laughing for like a minute straight and it was awesome he crushed it even the way that he like lets out a mild curse beforehand that kind of lets you know wait this isn't the cap we know maybe he's just been hardened by the void and then the reveal oh that's why he cursed because it's it's johnny it's johnny storm so this movie knocked it out of the park with the cameos and references i loved it and i just I can't get over how great this movie was. It lived up to the hype. I think it's the best of the three. I think that it being an MCU film finally brought that last little bit of polish that Deadpool has severely needed since the first movie, knowing the budget issues they had with the first movie, but they creatively found ways around the budget issues. And then even the second movie, uh, you know, it, this one just had that last little bit of Disney money polish that Deadpool needed. And I thought it was just... Great.